All right, everyone, here we go with the Friday reading. No pre-shuffle here on the Friday reading. It's one card for each sign, no clarifiers. We just get a snapshot of where we're at right now in a soulmate cycle. It's an exploded all signs reading on the table. There's text in the top of the description for those that are wondering where the timestamps are. You don't need them. You're all part of a cycle. About nine out of the 12 should resonate with you. I'm gonna shuffle the deck. We're in this reading here on the Friday reading, we pull what your person's thinking and feeling right now. And it could be your runner, it could be anybody. Well, it could be somebody at work who's thinking and feeling these things about you. There's no name tag on the energy. That said, pay attention. About nine out of the 12, like I said, should resonate. I'll have the universe add it all up at the end with three cards and a bottom card. All right, <clears throat> it's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. And I am shuffling. We'll see where we go. We'll see what the overall energy is here in just a second. This reading's timeless whenever you find it. You're meant to find it. It's a great time to pull this reading because I'm just about to pull March. On Sunday, I'm going to pull the monthly overview for the month of March, and then on Monday and Tuesday, I'll be flying through the Zodiac with your signs. So, ooh, it's going to be quite a month. It is a magic month with Saturn and uh, Pluto influence for sure. Check out my blog article on March 2023. It's very important to help you get the most out of your March readings for sure. All right. Okay, we're done. A lot of shuffling, huh, universe? Overall energy of everything going to fall on the table. What they're thinking and feeling about you right now is Page of Cups. Somebody, it, they're feeling down. Okay, and it's not surprising. Did you watch the new moon reading? Did you watch Venus and Aries? Have you been paying attention to any readings I pulled since then? Twin Flame Journey? Yeah, they feel stupid. They feel down. It's a down energy. It's someone who has feelings for you. But they might be too chicken to do anything about it or... They were two chickens, so they feel stupid about that. Yeah, they feel kind of dumb. He should feel dumb. He went to school dressed like Mr. Spock. I mean, he went to the, actually he went to the beach dressed like Mr. Spock. What the hell? That's got that's that's going that's going to be a weird tan. Okay, fueling that is the six of cups. So they're thinking about you heavily, no doubt about it. Thinking about your golden retriever, for sure, or your Irish setter, or your Mexican hairless, or whatever the hell you got, you know. Whatever. Let's go. Our story starts with Aries. It ends with Pisces. For me, it's just 1 through 12. Same as for the universe. Whatever. You like the signs? We'll say the signs. Uh, let's go. Everything matters here. Aries, nine wands. Yeah. Somebody, somebody's defenses are wearing thin. What they're thinking, they're trying not to think about you, but they are. Okay? Whoever it is is trying not to think about you, but that's futile. And they are thinking about you. Taurus. Mm, the chariot <laughs> somebody's trying trying not to think that they would love to come towards you and they what, what they don't realize is that the energy is dragging them back towards you it, for some reason I would expect in the Taurus angle you're gonna have a strange encounter with this person very soon okay I'm just saying that I that applies to all of you you know I would imagine it is gonna be a strange encounter if they show up but this person is trying to say, I'm not going to go talk to the Taurus. But they actually, while they're, as they're saying that, their energy is coming towards you. Okay, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. It's, it's the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? Okay, it's ringing in my head. Just the opening line. Wouldn't it be nice? Right? You're there. Wouldn't it be nice? And that's what they're thinking and feeling. Okay? And it, it could be a runner. It could just as easily be the person who sits next to you at work, male or female. Wouldn't it be nice? And don't come at me and say, person who sits next to me at work is the same sex I am, Steve. Well, you know, maybe there wouldn't it be nice if you were into the same sex. I have no idea. I have no idea. The name tag, there's no name tags on the energy. All right. And I don't always say that. So why did I say that in this reading? So, you know, pay attention. Um, cancer. You're all honorary Cancerians in this cycle. It's Cancerian theme. North Node was in Cancer when this cycle began. Cancer the hot spot. Four of Swords. You picking up a theme here. Well, I did get done telling you. I do know this. In a recent three card, I think it was, or something. I said it's the calm before the storm right now. It is. You hear how my voice got nice and soft there? That's what's going on here. Somebody's heart chakra is opening. Somebody here is coming to some realizations. This might as well have been an Ace of Swords. It's not quite there. It's quieter than that. But there's a slow healing as someone's heart chakra opens and they realize that resistance towards you is kind of futile. 
Uh, that makes sense. That, that backs up the whole top row. All right, whole beginning of our story. Leo. I did a recent Leo soap opera. Ten Pentacles. Again, the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? Everybody needs to go listen to the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? Because it's here. It the whole this reading might as well begin with that little music that opens it. Doom do 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 and then the drum hit. Boom. Wouldn't it be nice? Right? All right. Yeah. There's something more there. I wish I could clarify that. Um, someone here is busy in fantasy land thinking that this is what's on their side or has been, and they're all, wouldn't it be nice about you? Because they know it's a lie underneath. Okay? That's the best I can tell you without clarifying. Tomorrow in the weekly reading, we, we do this, but we see what actions they're likely to take over the coming week. And we clarify. This is what it is. It's a good precursor. Virgo. Seven Pentacles. This is, this is, again, wouldn't it be nice? It's wouldn't it be nice? It just won't go away. Wouldn't it be nice? You said something to somebody at some point or did something or wore something to work or I have no idea. But somebody then started, started to get a thing for you. Okay? And that thing that they have for you is starting to grow. Okay? Now, this could play out many different ways. It's pentacles. It could play out as someone at work is seeing something in you, or it can play out as someone's really into you. Whatever it is, it's beginning to fester within that person. Okay? Libra. King of Wands. Wouldn't it be nice? It's all here. Yellow, yellow, yellow yellowish wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice it's it's here um it's someone who is refusing to again a little of this nine of wands refusing to put their ego down when it comes to you it's someone here who's pretending you don't matter but you do and that energy of pretending you don't matter is fading fast the red on the shirt draws me to the red on this card and this card okay um yeah someone's very attracted to you Hell if you know from their behavior. Okay? That's just in the right now. We're in the in-between. We're in purgatory between two new kind of energies coming together. The energy of March will blend in at around March 2nd, around the time uh, Mercury moves into Pisces. Okay? But right now, this is about what I expected with this Friday reading. All, it's another one of the Friday readings I almost canceled because I knew what I was going to get. And I'm not being, I'm not prejudging. The cards are what they are. The energy is reflecting that way. Is, is this reading is sponsored to you, sponsored by the Beach Boys? Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, they're all feeling you. Okay, um, Scorpio, my hot Scorpios, King of Cups. Um, somebody would like to open up to you. Somebody would like to tell you how they feel, but your energy is very intimidating to them, and they feel like they need to hold back a little bit. Okay, it could be an authority figure. This could be something new. This could be somebody who's a boss at work. A cop that pulled you over for speeding may have thought you were very attractive, but it's inappropriate for he or she to hit on people they've pulled over. That's an abuse of authority. It's usually viewed as an abuse of power, right? I don't know. It's just an example. That's all. But somebody feels like they want to open up to you, but they also feel like they need to hold back. Okay? Okay, fine. Sagittarius. Three of Wands. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. Somebody sees you as a, a, a new... Again, it's just you're being watched. It is an energy of spying attached to the Three of Wands, which is very rare. It's a very rare energy. Somebody is feeling you. They see you as something different than what they're used to. Maybe. Maybe. But all I get here is you're on a boat out here in the water and somebody's watching you. You're being watched by somebody. It could be like a headhunter. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean like for a, a promotion or something like that. It's very positive energy. It's not negative per se. All right? Okay. It does mean that very soon somebody might make a move. So I would pay attention to your March reading and pay attention to tomorrow's weekly reading. Capricorn. Nine Swords. 
Again, the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? I just, just my God, it really is. Um, it's wouldn't it be nice to talk to you? It's it's multiple birds in the air. There's somebody very anxious about and and their energy. This is strange because it is feedbacking off of the chariot and the nine of wands. It's really weird. The energy. I mean, it's my job to sort that out. It's your job to enjoy the reading. Take my word for it. It's weird. It's an energy of someone coming towards you, very nervous to talk to you, but at the same time, kind of get. It's almost like somebody. They how they feel is they'd love to talk to you. But that's how they're reacting to it. Okay, I, I don't know why. I don't know why they're nervous. I feel like there's a conversation coming, but know that somebody's going to be a little bit. There's almost a shame attached to it in some way. Okay, I don't know. Pay attention to the monthly overview. Pay attention to your monthly reading. Maybe that shame energy means something. Maybe it and that applies to all of you. There's a shame in here somewhere, right? Wouldn't it be nice? Usually, if we say "wouldn't it be nice," it implies it's either something that can't happen or something that could have happened that we fucked up. Okay, so look at it that way. Aquarius, nine pentacles. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. You're ruled by Saturn in part, okay? The Saturn aspect of your ruler, okay? The Saturn aspect of your sign is coming into play very strong here in March. It's been since the new moon, so it's there. Um, you are just about to smell like roses. You're about to come out of, of something, come out of whatever. There's just an energy about you. That there's something about Aquarius, right? Like that something about Mary movie. There's something about Aquarius, okay? It is a, it's an energy. It's just liberating. It's just nice. And people are perceiving you that way as something that could help them, that could liberate them. You're about to become very popular. And I don't think it matters to you one way or another. I think you're just flowing in your energy and you will be throughout the month of March. This is where the energy is sitting right now, likely because of that new moon we just had. It's beautiful. Uh, somebody also admire. there is an energy attached to you that admires your freedom, your uh, living your life kind of a thing. By your own rules maybe, by you know doing it your way, whatever, however you want to look at it. Okay? There is an admiration there that to a, in, in an energy attached to you. I think for all of you, all of your runners have an admiration for that same type of energy with you because all of them are sort of tied up in something, something that controls them in some way, okay? And you don't seem to have that. By their perception, you're growing and, 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 and you're living a free, more freer life than they are. That's especially true in the Gemini angle in particular, by the way. Pisces, potential. I was going to say potential final outcome, but it kind of is. It's an all signs reading exploded on the table. Uh, we opened with the, with the Nine of Wands. It's the High Priestess. Um, somebody, um, how do I phrase this? Somebody is acting on inner knowings, okay? When they, when they think, of, when, when they close their eyes, they dream about you, okay? Those dreams are about to pop into reality. That the the all, everything that they haven't expressed, they would like to express to you. Again, the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? It's a whole wouldn't it be nice energy on this whole fucking thing, and that's exactly where we are right now. We're in the in between. If you've been paying attention to my readings, you get that. Especially a recent. There's a recent three card. I know there is. There's some reading in between the new moon and the all signs, other Venus and Aries thing. Anyway, yeah. Somebody here, again, about to be expressed. But it's something, wouldn't it be nice if I could tell Pisces all of this? It is flowing. But what's kind of stopping them is whatever's on their side a little bit. Okay? Which I think we might see in March, them not caring about that. In other words, it may have already been dealt with, but they're still dealing with the aftermath. Who knows? But there's, there's a whole, wouldn't it be nice energy here. All of the feelings that these runners have with, with the high priestess coming out in the 12th position, all of these feelings that the runners have for you that they've been holding back are all coming to the surface right now. And it's creating a wouldn't it be nice energy. All right. But there is a lot of shame attached to it, a lot of fear of, of speaking up still. Okay. I think that dissipates in March a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Randomly at the bottom of the witches is the Ten of Wands. Uh-huh. It's getting heavy. This whole wouldn't it be nice shit. Uh-huh. 
Let's have the universe add all this up. Add it up. And please don't give me the Beach Boys upright. I swear. All right. I don't know what the Beach Boys... I guess this is the Beach Boys upright, technically. It already gave it to me. All right. Here we go. For all of you, that wouldn't be nice energy is there. It really is. It's really strange. Uh, let's, let's have the universe add all this up for us. Give me three cards and a bottom card. What do these 12 cards together mean, universe? What do we get here? What do we got? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> bottom card is temperance. It's truth. Truth, balance, and justice. It feels all of that. Three cards. Let's go. The star. Mm. Center card. Nine swords. Temperance crossing the nine swords. And what's red with the star? Page of Pentacles. Um, I think we're going to see in the March reading some kind of lessons being learned here. All of this, is this whole wouldn't it be nice energy? Wouldn't it be nice to tell them how I feel? Wouldn't it have been nice to be together? Wouldn't it have been nice if I didn't run? Wouldn't it have been nice if I wasn't an asshole? All of that is part of the destiny that's playing out here. All of it is coming to a head here as we move into March. The energy of right now is the wouldn't it be nice. But where is that going? And the universe is telling us it's about to start flowing in a positive direction. It's about to start, somebody's about to learn a lesson here. Uh, a truth is trying to come in for sure. I can feel that. Yeah, a very, very deep spiritual truth. A truth from another realm, another dimension, if you will. We'll say 5D truth is trying to seep in um, about what's been holding these people back. It's, it's a realization coming that you can take Wouldn't It Be Nice and make it a reality. All right? But all of this here is about, it, it, it's where we learn the lessons. It's about Saturn. Saturn's a big, big power player in March, and it's a big power player since the new moon reading that I just pulled. So it's it's all it's also it's all happening the way it's supposed to. They let them sit in it, okay? As I said in a recent reading, let them sit in it. It's perfectly fine. It does lead to someone learning a lesson here, and it does lead to for a lot of you communication with this page of Pentacles. And that's a strange energy coming off the page of Pentacles. There, it's a page of Pentacles where it's not someone nervous about what they're going to say. It's someone who wants it to be fruitful. It, it's fruitful communication. It's a nice, it's a communication that matters. Okay? That's what we get here. We'll see what happens tomorrow. In the weekly reading, I ask what actions they're likely to take. It kind of picks it up from this, from these three cards and a bottom card, and I clarify. So we'll see. And then the day after that, I pull the monthly overview for March, and we'll really see. Okay? So here we go. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right? If you like this reading, you will, I appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Okay? But either way, if you just watch, that's cool too. All right. Good luck.